So we are in the Guhane Park. Uh, this park is right uh, behind Aya Sophia Mosque. Looks pretty nice. Originally part of the grounds of the Topikapi Palace, uh, Gulhane Park was opened to the public in the mid-19th century. The park is known for its beautiful flowers, trees and fountains, as well as its stunning views of the Bosphorus and the Golden Horn. Next destination is in the historic neighborhood of Beyoglu, a street named Soguk Chesme, which is a narrow winding street lined with historic buildings and colorful shops. The street is known for its unique architecture, which includes Ottoman-era wooden houses, European-style mansions and Art Nouveau buildings. One of the most interesting things about the street is its history. The street was originally built in the 17th century to connect the neighborhoods of Galata and Pera. Over the centuries it has been home to a variety of communities including Greeks, Armenians and Jews. Today visitors can explore the street's many shops, cafes and galleries. At the end of the street you will stumble upon the fountain called Sultan Ahmed III built in the 18th century during the Ottoman Empire. It was constructed to provide clean drinking water to the residents of the area. It features a central dome supported by eight marble columns with two smaller domes on the other side. One of the most interesting things about it is its intricate design adorned with beautiful blue and green tiles as well as calligraphy and floral motifs. You can also see a variety of Ottoman symbols including the crescent moon and the star of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, Istanbul is so busy, so many cars, so many people. Uh, after Gereme, after Trabzon, even after Gereme, it's one of the most touristic places in Turkey. And even after that, uh, for us, it's like super busy, noisy. So now we are heading to Ga uh, Galata Bridge and maybe we'll find a place there to eat. One of the most uh, funny thing is that uh, usually we like to cross the street as normal citizens or normal people. We are waiting for our green light, but in Turkey it's working absolutely different. You just have to like wait for the like group of people when they all start moving, like it's better that you move with them. Because if you don't, you will stay alone, uh, you will have to wait a very long time for the green light. So you just follow the group. And so far we didn't have any issues. So let's hope that <laughs> it will stay this way and we won't have to pay any money for this. And even the police, uh, we hardly see them because in Georgia I'm used to seeing them more often. And here, uh, mostly what we see, it's uh, uh, some tourism police, which I have also seen uh, in Tbilisi. Right behind me, this is uh, Galata Bridge. You can also use this ferry, which is just a regular public transport, but uh, probably we won't do it today. We'll try that tomorrow. So we're just going to walk there ourselves. Galata Bridge. If you are hungry, you need to be under the bridge. If you want to take your pictures, have a nice view, then probably have to go on top. So we will try to find something where we can have some food. We are on top of the Galata Bridge. We tried to find some place where to eat. However, those places look too touristic. We are not sure whether it's tasty, maybe there is, but we won't risk probably. So up here, uh, you can see some people. 
Oh, fishing. I would actually fish and, eat, and then eat this fish myself. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. Eh, maybe next time. trying to find some food and we found some place uh, like with a lot of people in the queue so we were thinking maybe we just should pop in and try it out they are cooking everything right in front of you all looks really fresh uh, and the meat doesn't look dry sometimes it's super dry uh, so yeah let's see this is how it looks like it's not so dry. Price, um, I think it's a bit overpriced. No? Maybe. A little bit, but it's still worth it. It's actually very tasty, so um, I would definitely come here again. Okay. Definitely. Tasty, juicy. Yeah, there is a reason there were so many people, it seems like. walking around on the other side of uh, Galata Bridge. This is also a pretty touristic place, very crowded. A lot of stuff they are selling, super loud. And we are looking for a place, has some beer. It's, it's so loud here. So it's the end of the day, our first day uh, in Istanbul. We are heading back home on metro, pretty tired, exhausted. We always trying to see everything as soon as possible to save the day. So we have another two days. We haven't planned anything yet. And we'll think about it this evening and decide where we should go tomorrow. Good night. Good night.